Welcome to Mathematics with Ams. Uh, today we're looking at Grade 8 lesson, Geometric Patterns. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Patterns that use pictures or diagrams to represent the different terms in a pattern are called geometric patterns. We can extend geometric patterns once we know the rules that determine the pattern. Steps to follow. Geometric patterns are number patterns that can be represented by a diagram. A table will also help us to count and organize the number we see in the pattern. We notice in the diagram. Always try to draw or determine what the next diagram in the pattern looks like. This helps you to make sure you understand the pattern. And let's look at the example. There's your geometric pattern. Determine how many matches are required to produce a row of 30 squares. At the moment, we see how many matches for the first square. And let's see if you look at quickly, you see it's four matches. Look at pattern number two, there's two squares, and you will count seven matches. Look at the third pattern, there's three squares, and you count ten matches, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. So you can apply the long method by writing out all the matches, and then get to your answer, 91. But it, it, it takes long, people. So isn't there maybe a shorter way to do it? Yes, there is. So what you do is you write down a formula for the pattern. So let's use N for the number of squares and M for the number of matches. Then we create a table. So there you are, pattern 1 got 4 matches, pattern 2 got 7 matches, pattern 3 got 10, pattern 4 got 13, and so on. Then you'll notice that 7 minus 4 is 3, 10 minus 7 is 3, 13 minus 10 is 3. So there is a common difference. So we'll do it like we've done the others. So there you are, 1 plus 1 times 3 gives you 4, 1 plus 2 times 3 gives you 7, and so forth and so forth. So there you can see, it seems like the pattern is then n times 3 plus 1, right? So there you are, so 3n plus 1, right? So I hope that is quite clear. It's very similar to the previous one. So now you have 3n plus 1, so what you can do is now, when you want to find out 30 rows, then you're just going to re replace uh, n with 30, and the answer will be 91. Because 3 times 30 is 90, plus 1 is 91. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this very short uh, video on geometric patterns. This is Ahmed Suleiman from Mathematics with Ams. Please don't forget to give me a huge like. And subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.